Uh, I'm looking for. No, wait, wait, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I need the good stuff. Um, yo, three. <laughs> Don't know what to. Uh, The things of people say so easy answer would be my wife, my son, and then a bottle of water. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I like beer, beer is a, it's a good something for me. Brandy in South Africa, we order brandy and coke. And then otherwise, uh, whiskey on the rocks is nice for me at the bar. Uh, obviously, uh, the braai. Open fire braai, I miss uh, chati, and then I would say obviously miss the family. Uh, the, the views, the mountains, waking up every day, and uh, the, the, the beautiful city, the streets is a lot different to South Africa. So it's experiencing something new, and that's exactly what me and my family want. Uh, we want to experience something new with rugby and something new about the world. Three songs I like. Uh, Afrikaans music is our local language and uh, any, any traditional South African songs are good for me. Three, it's braai. It's a barbecue. It's lacquer and lacquer is nice. It's just a, lacquer is a thing everybody in South Africa say. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's too fine. Three cities uh, in South Africa, Nalspreit, because the uh, Kruger National Park. Uh, love me and my wife, we spend a lot of time in Kruger National Park. And then I like going to Cape Town. It's nice, in, also in South Africa. And then I would like to explore France more. It's my first time in France. Uh, but I've been to Prague. Uh, that's also very nice for me. Three objectives of me. Um, I'm the only child, so I would say that I'm more introvert personality. Um, don't talk too much, except with my wife. <laughs> and then I would say I'm very competitive in the things I do well. So I take a lot of pride in the stuff I do. And then I, I like to learn new stuff. Uh, so that's for France for me is new places, new languages. Um, I like learning. Um, for me, first uh, important thing was um, going to Wurskop Waterkloof in South Africa. It was a good rugby school at the, at the stage and I think uh, that helped me a lot in the right direction of my rugby. Uh, um, SA Under 20, the World Cup, for playing for SA Under 20, that was a big moment for me. Um, then uh, at 20 years old, then you realize you've got a future in rugby and then I would say a good memory for me was the Super Rugby Final in 2018. Outside, uh, golf, hunting, fishing, it's easy. It's easy in South Africa, braai, it's always something. Uh, pasta, and then uh, ribs is nice for me. Um, I would say uh, eating pasta the night before the game is a tradition from high school. Sleeping early, for me getting good sleep uh, in the night before the game. And then uh, I drink uh, apple juice diluted with water. It was something I picked up a couple of years ago and I think it works for me. Uh, my last three clubs was, uh, was the Lions and then I played for the Pumas and Greek was, was the most recent. So my first inspiration was the 95 World Cup was John Alomo. Um, he really took, uh, I think it's mo probably most people's favorite player. Uh, then I would say Francho Pinar winning the first World Cup. And then all the open side loose forwards the same stage as me, like uh, Dion Ferry played against Dion Ferry, Heinrich Brousseau, Dion Stegman. It's all the same type of players, so uh, they always inspiration for me when they do well. Definitely any type of cold meat, cheese, it's fromage in France. Cucumber or cream cheese, 
has to be one of those three. <laughs> okay, there is, there is, uh, actually there is one. Uh, for me, it's always, it's not how you fall, it's how you stand up. Like I say, in your rugby career, there's a lot of uh, challenging times, so there's the times you fall up, and you always have to stand up one time more than you fall to succeed. For me, uh, first was, the first letter word I learned was bonjour, uh, merci beaucoup, and ça va. It's the first three words. <laughs>